Hey, all my friends out there on the come up, listen to me. Uh, you having a hard time right now, uh, starting at the bottom. I know it's not going to feel like it right now, but if you hang in there and you do whatever it takes, you get the education and you don't quit, starting at the bottom, once you get where you need to get, once you get where you deserve to get, once you get and reach your full potential, which is in you, it's sitting there, it's waiting for you to find it, I promise you starting at the bottom is going to feel a whole, I mean, it's going to make the whole trip that much better. And if you're given this, if you start at the top, I'm telling you it's a different gig when you earn it yourself and when you fight through. I started at the bottom. My name's Grant Cardone, by the way, if you never follow this channel. I drop video like this all the time. Not just inspirational stuff. Hopefully you'll be inspired by this, but also you can have a takeaway or two. Look, I grew up in a little town, Louisiana, if you don't know my story. And I have been told on almost every endeavor that I have taken on. My real estate business, my family told me to leave it alone. I went out on my own, they told me not to do that. I had a good job, I should just stick with it. When I went into a technology venture, I was told, hey, leave that alone, it's too complicated, it's disruptive, it takes a lot of money. By the way, that technology company, we did not make it. It did not, it, 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 I was too ahead of my time, and so, uh, but I don't regret doing it. The real estate business and my first business, those were, I started those businesses 30 years ago. I was told don't do it on both of them, and they both became mega, mega successful businesses. The real estate's got two and a half billion dollars worth of real estate, we'll probably close another 500 million this year. My mother said, don't go into real estate. You're gonna have tenants calling you. Well, I got 10,000 people that, that I take care of, 10,000 families. None of them call me, they call the management team. And uh, my investors called me though. My investors called me and said, thank you for the check every month. My company that I started when I was 30 years old was a little startup. I remember I had a half of employee in the beginning. I was traveling 250 days a year, working my ass off. I did that for, I don't know, eight or 10 years, maybe a little longer before I even went to three employees. Today there's 180 employees in that company. There's 350 in the real estate. I'm telling you that to tell you, look, man, if it's tough, if it's tough for you right now, don't quit. It only gets tougher as you quit. It doesn't get easier. You quit, you gotta start all over again. This morning, I went out, I was looking at, I got an offer on my, my other plane, and I took my helicopter to avoid the traffic. I took my hel. I'm bragging right now. I took my helicopter, not my plane. I took my helicopter to go look at another plane it was literally 10 minutes away. I know it's obnoxious, it's bougie, it's terrible that I would say that. Uh, there's people out there barely rub two quarters together. You might not, maybe you're hungry. Maybe you're listening to this right now. You're out of work and I'm talking to you about helicopters and planes. Yes, I am. And I'm showing you this because the people around you that have not achieved this are going to tell you it's not worth it. They're going to tell you you can't do it. They're going to tell you to be grateful for what you have and sit down and become a spectator. You got to take off right there behind me. They're going to tell you that it's, it's just the special people that get to fly private. Guess what? Every time I've seen a private plane, a helicopter, a private helicopter, some oceanfront freaking mega mansion, my first question was, who is that? Second question, what did they do to get that? Don't hate on those people. They didn't quit. They might have started at the bottom. Maybe, maybe they started in the middle. Maybe they started in the top. Maybe somebody gave them something. I don't know, it doesn't matter to me. How do you get there? I know this, you don't get there by quitting. You don't get there by complaining. You're not gonna get there by making excuses and you're not gonna get there by, uh, by, by, by saying that somebody else is the reason for it or the deck stack. The deck is stacked. You know it. I know it. The whole goddamn world knows it. It's stacked as stacked can be. So read about the game. It's stacked against you. Just like blackjack, roulette, uh, baccarat, golf, basketball. Hey, look, you got to learn something. Okay. You got to learn something. If you quit, I can tell you this. If you quit because you're starting at the bottom or quit because somebody uh, took advantage of you. You quit because the deck is stacked or you quit because you went bankrupt or ran out of money. Guess what? You're never going to make it. 
you're not going to make it. And if you're like me, you're going to quit for a moment and then wake up a couple Mondays from now and say, God damn it, I got to get started again. So look, don't quit. Quit blaming the bottom. You're starting at the bottom. I started at the bottom. I had no money when I was 25 years old. I had less money at 25 than I was 15. You understand? I just spent, I had more debt when I was 25 than, I was, than when I was 15. But at 25, I had to start taking care of myself. I had to start paying my rent. I had to start making decisions with the little bit of money I had. I had to start making decisions whether I was going to pay college back or whether I was going to even finish college. So I have made so many mistakes along the way. So many mistakes. Listen to so much bullshit by so many people that love me. The big L. They love me and because they love me so much, their opinions, their opinions were then clouded by their love for me because they didn't want to see me get hurt or disappointed, discouraged, beat up, or maybe file bankruptcy. But what they disregarded was the fact that I needed I need it personally. Maybe you do. Okay, let me know in the comments below. You can subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell, or come on and show you this video. Maybe the next video you'll like more than this or less. I don't know. I know this. You need somebody that wants to help you, and I want to help you on the come up. See, what my family, the people that love me, didn't know is there was an ache inside of me. Not to have helicopters and planes. I never even imagined it. I never, ever dreamed that one day I would own $2 billion worth of real estate, much less $3 billion. Never, or drive a Rolls Royce, or have a helicopter. None of that was even important to me. I just wanted to get off the bottom, man. That's all. I just wanted to not worry about money every single day of my life. All I wanted was to be able to be proud of myself and take care of my wife and my family, if I ever had a wife and family. Take care of my mom at the time. But mostly it was I wanted to be proud of myself. And I wasn't proud of me. I knew I could do more. And yeah, I was starting at the bottom. Yeah, I was in debt. Yeah, I had no money. Yeah, uh, my dad died when I was 10. Yeah, my older brother died when I was 20. Yeah, I was dealing with all these losses and tremendous amounts of depression, fear, angst, up and down kind of behavior, like quitting, quitting wasn't gonna get me any closer. Okay, and so yeah, while all that was awful and terrible and it was tough, number one, dude, it's better than you imagine, I promise you. Ladies and gentlemen, 17 years old, you're 27, you're 37, you're 47, you're 57. It took me so long to get this thing right, to figure it out. Uh, I was 51 before I really started making it, okay? Before I started kind of, uh-oh, like making it intellectually, not in the physical universe. I hadn't made it yet in the physical universe. I started, it started really clicking for me. And it was really only in the last three or four years that I'm like, bang, dude, something just happened. And I did not know that. I did not know if I just keep getting a little better every day, just a little tiny bit better every day, and you don't quit and you don't go backwards and you don't make excuses and you don't blame people and you stay away from the media and the gossip and the bull and the opinions, let me tell you something. When you put together 10 years of a little bit of advance every day, a little bit, one day you look up and, 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 and all of a sudden the advance you have made is so massive from where you started that you can't even believe, you can't even believe that you got that far. I'll say the last thing about starting at the bottom. Starting at the bottom is terrible. Until you get where you want to be. Once you get where you want to be, starting at the bottom will be the greatest blessing. The greatest blessing will be like you know, you you know, you know, nobody else knows, nobody needs to know that you started at the bottom and now you're here. And when when you get there, wherever there is for you, and it's different for everybody, you're gonna know, hey. I did this, I did this, I did this despite all that. I pulled it off and it's gonna feel so good and it's gonna be good. Every second, every minute, all the punishment, the discouragements, the disappointments, and the persistence. God bless you, hope you're doing great. Hope you get wherever you're trying to get, I hope you get there and further, further than I've gotten. I know you can 
And if you know if you know you can, and if you think you should, then guess what? You got to do it. Okay? Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, comment below, hit me with a like, what you take away from this, share it with a friend. God bless you. Be great. 10x everything.